Well, this is the math lesson. So, a couple things. I'm going to be talking fast through this. You can always pause it. You can always rewind. You can always watch it again. So, I'm going to give you lots of information. So, do not feel overwhelmed at this, like I'm spraying you down with a fire hose. But instead, you can always stop it. All right, and go back and look at it again. If you haven't watched the math antics or the brain pop videos related to this, please make sure that you check those out. Amazing resources as well, and they are much better quality as opposed to me standing in front of a, a, a smart board uh, with the light in my face. So, a couple things to review. Triangles, remember you have different triangles. Triangles can be classified according to the number of um, sides that they have, also the, um, the angles that they have as well. So. With, if all the angles are exactly the same, all right, the sides are the same, it's an equilateral triangle. If you have two sides that are the same, it's going to be an isosceles, and if all three of them are different, then it's going to be a scalene triangle. So make sure, all right, tri means three, like if I ride a tricycle, I have a three-wheeled, all right, movable, all right, uh, bike, it's called a tricycle. Bi means two. All right, try means three. So when you're looking at that, make sure that you um, realize that. A couple different things, if I quickly go forward, uh, polygons is what you took a look at yesterday. Remember with polygons, all right, polygon can be anything. It says, all right, is this a polygon? Yes, it is. This is a polygon, wrong color. Is this a polygon? No, why not? Because notice it crosses. Polygons cannot cross. Is this a polygon? Yes, it is. Is this a polygon? Yes, it is. Is this a polygon? No, because it has it is curved. Polygons cannot be curved. They must have straight sides. Is this a polygon? Yes. Is this a polygon? No, because it has an opening. Is this a polygon? No, because it's not a closed figure. So anytime it is a polygon, it cannot have crossovers. It can't have squiggly lines, in, all right, which is curves to it. It, can, it has to be a closed figure as well. So that's with the polygon. A couple different things. Anytime you're thinking about a polygon, Notice you have some polygons that can be either concave or convex. Now, notice in the word concave, you realize you have the word cave in there. All right, so this is like a cave. So if I was an animal, I would go inside the cave. All right, so therefore it's a concave. All right, convex means it's going to be, it's going to be something that's going to stick out. So is this a concave? All right, no. Is this concave? Yes. Notice here's the cave that the animal can go into. Is this concave? Yes, it is a concave. All right, so concaves. All right, convex. All right, convex figures has no, all right, says has no such line segment, all right, that can cross over. So this is going to be con convex and this is going to be convex. So they're either concave or convex. You're looking for the cave, if you will. All right, next one. You'll also have some uh, different types of figures. Now, looking at these particular figures, you realize tri means three, so it has three sides. Quad means four. If I'm riding on a quad, that's an abbreviation for a four-wheeled a four -wheeled vehicle. All right, so quad means four. All right, pent means five. Deca, guess what deca means? Ten. Oct means eight. All right, how many tentacles does an octopus have? It has eight. All right, we have hexagon, which means six as well. So looking at these figures, all right, you should, all you have to do is count the sides. Three sides, triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides is a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides is the pentagon. All right, so looking at these figures, so all right, you always take a look at with the polygons, you count the number of sides. Whether they're regular polygons, all right, which means all the sides are going to be the same size, or whether it, it could be something where it's a scaling figure and all the sides are different, all you got to do is count them. Count them in order to see what type of figure they are looking at the polygons. All right, if I fast forward a little bit, all right, uh, I have some parallelograms. Once again, if it is parallelograms, that means the opposite sides. That means this side and this side, those are both parallel, like a railroad, rail, uh, road, uh, our, our rail tracks, railway tracks. So those particular tracks do not intercept, and they never will intercept. These two are parallel as well. So these two, if they're parallel, they're going to be exactly the same size as well. You can't have a, a figure that is a parallelogram, all right, and not be exactly the same size. For example, now if you look at some of these, all of these figures up top are parallelograms. Each side, they, are, they do not touch one another. If I continue them out, they're going to be, uh, they will never, 
all right, cross one another. Some of these figures are like, wait a second, these don't cross, then these don't intersect. But notice, if I would take this and I continue this out, what's going to happen, these eventually are going to intersect right here. So therefore, it cannot be a parallelogram. These, all right, hey, these don't intersect. Well, if I continue this side out, what's going to happen is eventually it's going to intersect way over here. So these are not parallelograms. Opposite sides must be exactly the same length, all right? Exactly the same length in order to be a parallelogram. Also, it's a parallelogram and a quadrilateral, all right? Parallelogram and a quadrilateral. Let me quickly go over some, some different figures. All right, so it can be more than one. Notice a rectangle has four sides. It's a quadrilateral. A rectangle is a parallelogram because the sides will not intersect. Also, notice with a rectangle that it has right angles, all right? Right angles in it as well. So it's a special kind of parallelogram. If you look at a square and a rhombus, all right, a square is probably the most um, amazing figure of all because it is a has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. It is a parallelogram. It also has right angles, but all the sides are exactly the same length as well. Therefore, these are the characteristics that, that tells you that, hey, this is a square because of all those characteristics. A rhombus, it has four sides, so it is a parallel, it is a uh, quadrilateral. It also is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. They're also the exactly the same, all right? Every single one of these sides are exactly the same. The difference between a square and a rhombus is, all right, a rhombus does not have to have 90 degree angles. It can, so notice here I have a square, all right, because a square is a rhombus, but a, a rhombus, all right, all right, isn't always a square. So looking at this one, it doesn't have a 90 degree angle. If I would take and place a piece of paper into the corner here, all right, take a piece of paper, place it into the corner here. Notice with this particular paper, you it does not, all right, this particular side comes out here, all right, it doesn't fit within it. So that's an easy way that you can go ahead and check and see, all right, if it is indeed um, a square, all right. Taking a look at this one, quadrilateral, parallelogram, rectangle. Looking at this, one, quadrilateral, four sides, yes. Parallelogram, yes. Rectangle, yes. Square, no, because all sides are not the same length. Quadrilateral, yes, all right, because it has four sides. Parallelogram, no. Rectangle, no. Square, no. Quadrilateral, yes. Parallelogram, opposite sides parallel, yes. Um, is it a rectangle? All right. Yes. Is it a square? Yes. Now, all right, you have a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square because with a rectangle, it has four sides, 90 degree angles in the corner, all right, but you need to realize that with a rectangle, all right, a square could or could not, all right, must always have exactly the same, this, the, the sides must be the same, but notice with a rectangle, sometimes they might be the same length, but not always. So therefore, all right, a rectangle is never a square, but a square is a rectangle. Looking at this one, quadrilateral, yes. Parallelogram, yes. Rectangle, no. Square, no. Taking a look at that one. Also, trapezoid, notice with the trapezoids, it has four, four different sides. One of the sides, these two are parallel, these two are parallel, these two are parallel, but the opposite sides are not parallel, all right? You have one set are parallel, the other set is not parallel, and that makes it a trapezoid, all right? It says circle the quadrilaterals that are trapezoids. Once again, it, it must have, all right, looking at this one, you must have one side a parallel, one side parallel. This one, you have both sides are parallel, so it's not gonna be a trapezoid. This one, you have neither side is gonna be parallel, so it cannot be a trapezoid. So make sure when you're working on this one, you're going to be working on the IXL as well. Now with the IXL, some of the assignments that you're going to be working on, all right, take your time on this. If it becomes overwhelming, just go ahead and stop. Rewatch the video on Brain Pop or uh, Math Antics. You can also rewatch this one as well, but make sure, take a deep breath, <sighs> release it out. You got this. You can do this. If it's overwhelming, Push the pause button, all right? Send me a message on GoGuardian. Send me an email, 
all right, do something, I'll send you another video explaining this to you if you do not understand a particular figure. All right, what is this? Is it a polygon? Is it not a polygon? How many? I will help you out, all right? So take a deep breath. You got this, all right? You can do this, all right? Thanks for watching. Take care. See ya. Be a blessing.